Hello, this is Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Bregman of the Jewish Executive Learning Network, and I'd like to share with you an unbelievable insight into Rosh Hashanah and your Rosh Hashanah prayer book, your Machser. Here we go. Now, it's in my phone, so I just want to make sure I get all the questions out there. When it comes high holidays, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, you're going to get to the Avinu Malkeinu. Avinu Malkeinu. I'm going to spare you. But we know Avinu Malkeinu. Okay, Avinu, our father. Malkeinu, our king. It's a lot of stuff in there. It's very juicy. A lot of interesting Tyra. Here we go. Let me ask you some questions. First of all, Avinu Malkeinu. Avinu means our father. Malkeinu means our Melech, our king. That's very different roles. Is God, is he our Av, our father? He's our Melech. He's our king. Very different. I'm a, I'm a parent. I know what it's like to relate as an Av, as a Tati, as an Abba, as a dad. I know what that is. But Melech, Melech is a very different cold role. Father is friendly. Melech is kind of cold and more distant. Okay? So why do we address God as both? Question number two. In the Avinu Malkeinu section, there, we say over there, we ask Hashem, Kasveinu B'Sefer Tzchuyah. Hashem, write us in the Book of Merits. Okay? It's high holiday time. Please write me in the Book of Merits. Let's stop and ask a question. How can you ask Hashem to write you in the Book of Merits? If you did the, if you did the right things, He should put you in the Book of Merits. And if you didn't, you didn't. You, you hear the question? Write me in the Book of Merits. Come on. If I did it, I will be in. If not, not. What are we even asking Hashem? It's a good question. I'll give you another good question I've thought of before. Another question is, we ask Him, Hashem, please recall us with a favorable memory before you. It says that in Avinu Malkeinu as well. I promise you. Go look it up says it. What does that mean? If I did something good, Hashem should think of me in a good way. And if I didn't, I was really stinking it up the past year. Maybe He won't. Recall us with a favorable memory before you. Oh, what does that even mean? And I'll give you another one. We say, Hashem, we say in there, we have no worthy deeds. We did no good deeds. Now, I have a question for you. We're supposed to be honest when we pray to God. Now, I'm not perfect, far from it, and I don't know anybody who's spiritually perfect or otherwise, but you know what? Can we say very honestly, can we say honestly that we did nothing this year? I mean, I'm looking at myself, I wasn't perfect and this and that, but I mean, I did nothing, I didn't teach Tyra, I didn't help anybody, I didn't give charity, I did nothing. He ain't banu masim, and we're not just saying, I have nothing, he ain't banu masim, the whole Jewish people, we have no worthy deeds before you. He ain't banu masim, we have no masim, we have nothing. How do we even say that? You hear these questions? These are some good questions in Avinu Malkeinu. So I would like to suggest an answer to you based on a Gemara passage in the Talmud, Tractate Shabbos 127b. The Talmud says over there, uh, it's talking about judging favorably. And the Talmud says that if you judge people favorably, Hashem will make sure that you will be judged favorably. You hear that? If you judge people favorably, you give people the benefit of the doubt, Hashem is going to give you the benefit of the doubt. As you judge others, so too Hashem is going to judge you. That's what the Talmud says, Tractate Shabbos, Kof Chav Zayin Amad Beis 127b. Now what does that Talmudic passage mean? It's what I call a topic that's classic Rabbi Bregman Torah, at least in my world, and that's what I call easy graders and hard graders. We all remember what it was like back in school, right? You always had that teacher that if you didn't get the answer perfect, you didn't receive credit. It was history time, and it, there was a war, and it was supposed to be the War of 1812, and you wrote the War of uh, 1796. You're just a couple years off, and you had all the time, and all the, the, everything else is right, the timeline, and the countries, and the actors, and the places. You had it all. You got the wrong year. So what did an easy grader do? An easy grader will say, you know what? He knew what he was talking about. She basically knew. We'll give him half credit. We'll give him three-quarter credit. Nebuch, instead of 1812, he said 1796. Okay, I mean, things happen like that. But we also know there's such a thing as a tough grader. What's a tough grader? Tough grader is a person who says, if you don't get it perfect, I'm giving you no credit at all, right? Nothing. You, you get anything wrong, you get nothing. No credit at all. Now, the Torah is trying to tell us that we go through life and we relate to people as easy graders and hard graders. We do this every day, don't we? A person might have a spouse. Let's say your wife might make you a meal. 
and she makes you a, a, an egg and breakfast with toast and a whole nice thing from when you come back from shul. But if a person is, is not really spiritually oriented correctly, if the, if, the, if the bread is a little bit burnt, the toast is burnt, he says, ah, the breakfast is no good. Okay? That's being a hard grader. Okay? What's another example of a hard grader? A husband comes home with flowers to surprise his wife. Okay? It happens. Hopefully it'll happen a lot. should happen. If you're not making it happen and you have a spouse, make it happen. But let's say you, don't, you bring home the flowers and, and your wife receives them and she starts, uh, she sneezes. She goes, don't you remember I told you nine years ago that I'm allergic to this kind of flower? And so she's all angry with the husband and you know, I can't do anything right. Okay? She's being a hard grader. What would an easy grader say? What would an easy grader do? An easy grader would say, mm, you know what? I appreciate so much the gesture. Okay, he didn't remember from nine years ago that this gives me allergy season anytime it shows up in my house, okay? But an easy grader is the way you want to be. So Hashem, this is what the Talmud is saying, judges us as we judge others. If everyone around us is no good and everything has to be perfect and any person who misses the market, even a little bit, eh, no good, no good, no good, no good. You know what? Hashem's going to look at our deeds, our record from the past year. He's going to judge you the same way. Now, now that you know that, the questions that we brought up a few moments ago, as I reach for my phone again, where I have all the goodies, you're going to see that all the questions could be answered that way. What does it mean? Number one, Avinu Malkenu. Are we relating to God on the high holidays as an Ab, as a strict father? Or is a, uh, excuse me, a nice father or a strict melech, a strict king? Who determines? The answer is you determine. If you judge people favorably, you give people the benefit of the doubt. If you're an easy grader on the people in your life, then guess what? Hashem is going to look at you and be an easy grader on you. And he's going to relate to you as a loving av, a loving father, not a strict tough melech. But if everything has to be with a tough grader, it'll be a tough, cold, distant melech on you also. Number one. Number two, write us in the book of merits. What did I say? Are we either in or we're out? We did the deeds or not? The answer is, depending on how we treat others, if we go through life with humility and Rosh Hashanah this time of year is humility, as I spoke about in other clips, and we basically uh, treat people in a way that we, we let other things go and we, we're not so strict. Hashem is going to look at our deeds and say, yeah, 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 I know you went to a Torah class. Even though you weren't totally paying attention, it's going to pass. It'll be in the Book of Merit. Yeah, 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 I know you said Birkat Amazon after your bread meal. I know you weren't totally concentrating, but we're going to let it pass. Because a lot of the stuff we did, if he would look at us with maximum scrutiny, it would kind of be junky, right? It wouldn't get in the book of merits. But if we act properly, he's going to be like the loving father, and he's going to put us in the book of merits. And that's also what it means when we ask Hashem to recall us with a favorable memory before him. Because depending on how we treat others, he's going to judge us. And all the things we did, it could be recalled, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, he was a pretty good Jew this year. She was pretty impressive. I had nachas from this Jew. It all depends on how we treat others. And what does it mean, ki ein banu masim? We have no worthy deeds. The answer is that if we're going to treat other people with maximum scrutiny, the highest level, let's call it for the lawyers out there, strict scrutiny, okay? For the lawyers in the room right now, for the live short and sweet recording, we're going to look with strict scrutiny on everybody around us. Hashem's going to look at us in the same way. And if he would do that, we would undoubtedly find that nothing we did in the past year is going to be good enough. Ki ain't banu maisim. We have no worthy deeds before you. So bottom line, you want a strategy to be successful, ease up on people, judge people, give them a partial credit, a lot of credit. You want to be strict on yourself, that's between you and Hashem, and speak to your rabbi about that. But when it comes to other people, be an easy grader. As the Talmud says, if you will judge people favorably, Hashem is going to judge you in that way. Way. Today a judgment coming, it's a time to make sure that we're going to skew in our favor how he's going to look at us, and we are the ones who control it, which I believe is an empowering idea for you. This has been Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Bregman of the Jewish Executive Learning Network. Thank you so much for checking out today's Short and Sweet. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Please follow me on TorahAnytime.com where I have hundreds of beautiful shiurim, beautiful Torah classes there for you, and we will see you the next time. Good night.